am back with day two of that beauty challenge and my answers for it that I'm also doing here on YouTube because frankly I don't know why, but I feel like doing it anyway. Regardless, um, so the question on this one was favorite organic brands, or, or favorite organic products I guess was technically it, but I kind of expanded it to brands because it's not really easy for me to like narrow it down to individual single products. And all the ones that I posted on Instagram were lip balms because, frankly, lip balm feels like the only thing I really go out of my way to seek out organic stuff from. Obviously, I use synthetics too, but I mean, it's the only thing I really take notice of when something's organic versus not. Um, I use both quite happily, both in lip care and others, uh, but... It is something that is a nice added touch when it's in lip balms, I find, so... Plus, a lot of these brands also additionally make other product types, too, and when they do, I tend to try to branch out and try some of their other products, too. Like, EOS was my number one on that list. I think I have purchased virtually everything they sell, across the board, every scent, every product. Um, there is very little at this point that I've not tried from them. Like, I have skipped, obviously, the coconut, um, I forget if it's the hand, yeah, I know I skipped it in the hand lotion because there's literally no point in my buying that, being allergic to it. I forget if they still have the coconut shaving cream. I know I had, at one point, purchased it, back when it was still called Tropical Fruit, um, but it turned out to be coconut. I had to give it away, but it did smell really good. I'll give it that, but I, unfortunately bought it after that allergy developed and didn't know for sure, is it like a pineapple, is it a mango, and then, oh, it's coconut. Why didn't they just say it's coconut? I could have spared myself a few bucks, but regardless, everything else, like all the lip balms, I buy every single one, you guys know it. Even the coconut ones there, I still buy them, and if it turns out I can't use them, I, like, give them to my mom, my sister, someone, but, um, uh, when other coconut things come into my hands and I turn out not to be able to use them, that's where they go to. But regardless, EOS is number one on that list. Burt's Bees, similarly, also is on that list. I cannot make the same lofty claim that I can about EOS with them of I've tried everything they make because, frankly, their product line is massive across the board. I haven't even tried every single lip product they make. Of the lip balms, I've come pretty close, but... Overall, anything. I mean, they have, like, the lip shimmers, they have the lip tints, they have the lip glosses, they have lip sticks, they have this, that, the other, lip scrubs, li uh, like, all kinds of things, and they're not cheap, so, frankly, I cannot make that same lofty claim of having tried all the things, because that's just the lip stuff, that's not even counting their other makeup, their skincare, their baby products, I mean, they make all sorts of stuff, and... I mean, I would absolutely love to try all of it, but it just would take so much money and so much time to do all of it to where it's like, I don't know if it's humanly possible on my budget, but giving it a good run trying anyway, but <laughs> slowly but surely, a piece at a time, but yeah, that. But still, I do love their brand. I adore their lip balms. We have established that. And of other things that I've tried from them, I've really liked them, too. Like, I've tried some of their face masks. I've tried some of their hand creams. I've tried some of their other lip products that aren't just lip balms, like lipsticks, lip shimmers, etc., etc. About as... I guess I tried their makeup wipes one time. That's about as far as I've really ventured into them, but I do want to try more from them because I do really, really love Burt's Bees. Uh, similarly, Sunbum is another one where I think I've... Well, no, I guess I haven't tried every lip balm from them because their original lip balms, I got as far as one and thought it was really gross and then didn't exactly get back to trying the others, but their Cocoa Balm line, I tried, like, all of except the coconut one, obviously. Um... But they make so many other skincare things to where I'm kind of intrigued. I kind of want to try more from them. I have some SPF stuff from them that I need to try still. But I definitely want to try more from them. I do really, really like their brand. I like what they stand for. I love their social media presence. They're so fun. Uh, I really like them. And then you guys know I really adore the lip balm brand Crazy Rumors. Like, they rock my socks. They are just that good. Um... 
they very rarely disappoint. Like, almost everything I've ever bought from them, I've loved. So, they get all the props in the world on all of the things. And then the newest addition to the list would be Ecolips, which I kind of overlooked for so many years, and now I'm like, wow, all that time lost that I could have been enjoying them. Had no idea how good they were. Again, another brand where I can't say that I have all of the things, but I'm working on it. But of the ones that I have tried, I've liked pretty much everything. So that's, you know, pretty good. And then I think the brand Hemp's is also organic. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if they are, I would like to additionally include them in this list. I haven't tried a lot from them. I've tried one of their lip balms. I've tried, I think three of their lotions at this point. Yes, I know, more reviews need to go up still, but they make so many things where I'm just like, I would love to try more from them because they're so good and they're one brand where I have legit adored every single thing I have touched from them. So they're really good. I really like them. Can't wait to try more from them in the future. Outside of that, I mean, there's other organic brands where I've tried things here and there, but nothing that really jumps out quick enough to where I think I can include them in this list. So I think that's a pretty good list to answer this question with. So anyway, guys, that's it for this one. So you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, until next time, bye-bye.